Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my weight loss surgery update. So if you're interested in hearing more about my story, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. I know it has been a long time since your girl has gotten on the camera to let you see my face and to see what's going on in my world. As you can see, I'm in a new space. This is actually my current craft room slash office space. So it's a hot mess. I'm still working on it. But here we are, and I'm just happy to be in my own little space right now. So I wanted to give you guys just an update on where I'm at physically. As far as having the gastric sleeve, I did have it back in June of 2020. So I am a year and about a year and five months or so out from having surgery. I feel fantastic for the most part. The reason why I originally did it in the first place was because I was having some very severe back issues. And all of the doctors convinced me that, you know, if you have the surgery, you will definitely feel better. You know, we we can't guarantee that you'll be 100% perfect and, you know, post or I guess pre-pain, you know, feeling, but we can guarantee that you'll feel better. And they were right. I have some excellent days. I have some not so good days, but they're nothing compared to what they were before um, losing the weight that I have lost. So I am grateful for my medical team that encouraged me to go ahead and, you know, move forward with, with this procedure. If you watched any of my earlier videos, you know that I was not, I was not here for it originally, but I'm happy that they convinced me because it truly has just changed my overall day-to-day -day quality of life. And I'm very grateful for that. So the challenges that I've had would definitely be still getting used to, even after a year, still getting used to, you know, the diet changes, what my body likes, what my body doesn't really like, because there are certain things that I could eat before that I just don't really, you know, like anymore, or just they don't process well anymore. So, you know, there are certain things, I'm trying to think of a food, like breads and things like that, sometimes they're okay and then other times they're really not. So um, just kind of, you know, keeping an eye out for how I'm feeling when I'm eating a certain thing. It still takes time to get used to the whole not eating and drinking at the same time because there's times when you just really want to drink. And then obviously like social norms, when you go out to eat, you know, everybody wants to, what do you want to drink? What do you want to drink? So lately I find myself just ordering water now even though I don't ever drink it, because <laughs> this keeps the waitress or the waiter from coming back constantly asking what I want to drink, um, which can be rather annoying. So I just, at this point, just always just order water. And then usually a friend of mine will run out of water at the time. And so then I'll just pass my cup over. That's kind of how I've dealt with that. I do try to order a kid's meal if at all possible, just so that I'm not wasting food because I can never eat a full plate of food anywhere that I go anymore. I mean, even a kid's meal sometimes is still way too much. So, you know, just kind of getting used to that, getting used to eating leftovers, which I really didn't do before. Now I do a little bit more often. And then what I don't eat, you know, my husband, he is more than happy to <laughs> take care of for me. Um, and then just again, getting readjusted to clothing sizes, just, you know, body image and all of those things. Um, one of the things that I didn't necessarily think about before when I was heavier, was just like how I looked necessarily without clothes, if that makes sense. Like I wasn't really like, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. You know, like I just wasn't really one of those kind of people. And so now I kind of find myself a little bit more, I don't want to say obsessed, but I, I pay more attention now. Like, ooh, was that roll there before? Or, ooh, I don't know if I like that cellulite or, you know, cause everything has just kind of changed. Um, when I was heavier, my body I felt like was more firm, um, more toned more muscular and now that I've lost weight so quickly I don't I just don't feel like that anymore so I'm working on trying to get those things back together what I love is my clothing options have obviously changed there's a lot of things that I would not have felt comfortable putting on before that now I'm like woohoo give me that crop top I'm not like I'm not showing any skin <laughs> 
because I'm still somebody's mama. But I like, you know, being able to wear a little bit shorter things confidently. I like things being a little bit more fitted and not, you know, feeling self-conscious about that. I love being able to kind of squeeze in smaller spaces, which is nice because sometimes you have to walk behind somebody or in front of somebody. So it's nice to not have to go, oh, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I just kind of just go. Oh, I got to post it on set tomorrow. That's fun. Um, so I just kind of can go and, you know, kind of maneuver in, which is kind of cool. Then I think pictures. That's probably the other, you know, best feeling for me is to look at pictures and not go, ooh. I still, like I said, have, I don't necessarily have any more pounds per se that I would like to lose, but the strengthening and the toning is definitely, you know, a goal for me. I'm going to have to have a knee procedure done. <sighs> Y'all was out there trying to run. Don't, just don't, just, just don't, don't do it. It's, it's, it's not worth it. I tore like a patella tendon, I don't know, some foolishness. So anyway, I have to have a knee surgery in December. So I've been struggling just to, you know, maintain any sort of activity levels again. So yeah, it's just, it's been fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I do enjoy though being able to, you know, take pictures and not have to just do headshots and little things like that. So it's it's been cool. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you probably saw like a before and after picture. I honestly hadn't even noticed that I was that big until I see pictures of myself now compared to pictures of myself last year and I'm like whoa I didn't even realize my face was that full or that my body like I said I didn't really think about it <laughs> that size for so long that it just kind of became the norm for me so kind of seeing me here versus there you know it's it's just been very eye-opening um and yeah so anyway let's talk numbers so pre-surgery I was 255 I I think the smallest, yeah, the lowest I've gotten down to was 180, but that was during COVID. Like I lost quite a bit when I had COVID in December because I just, I couldn't eat or really drink or anything. I lose quite a bit um, from there. Right now I hover right between 185 and like 188. Kind of just, you know, wiggle in and out of that range, which for me is a very comfortable healthy looking weight to me. I never wanted to be super duper thin um, just because I don't feel like it will fit my body type just in general. So I am good at this, you know, 185, between 185 and 190, I think it's kind of like my sweet spot. So my goal is to just maintain um, these numbers, you know, for the long term. I am in about a size, kind of in between like a 10 and a 12 leaning more towards like, I wish there was an 11 because I'm like, I would be like a perfect 11. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so kind of in between a 10 and a 12 for me. Before I was wearing, you know, 16, 18s and even some 20s, depending on what it was. So yeah, I'm very comfortable. It's nice being able to just shop pretty much anywhere again, um, like I used to do, you know, when I was younger, which is cool. So I really do like, um, you know, having people reach out to me just to ask questions. I obviously don't know everything. And most of the time I tell people to talk to their doctor, but, <laughs> you know, whatever advice or tips that I can give out, I, you know, am willing to do that because I do enjoy being able to kind of, um, you know, assist people through this journey because I had so many wonderful people that were there to assist me. So I'm trying to think, was there anything else? I think that's about it. If you do have any questions about where I'm at or what I'm doing or, you know, anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the description below and I'll be sure to answer those as I see them. Um, you can also reach out to me on Facebook. That information is also in the description box. So you just kind of, you know, kind of reach me, shoot me a messenger um, message and I will, you know, be more than happy to just let you know whatever it is I can let you know. And trust me when I tell you that if I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. So <laughs> I don't want anybody saying, well, Brandy said, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not. I'm just a person that went through the process the best way that I knew how. Yeah. So I, mm -mm, I do not have any medical tips and tricks because I am not a doctor. I'm going to say that one more time. I am not a doctor. I'm just a regular person that went through the surgery that is willing to be your new surgery bestie. 
that's it. That's all I got for you. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy. And again, if you need me, I am can be my information is in the description box down below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and share, 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 especially with someone that you think might be interested in having the gastric sleeve surgery. I don't know anything about bypass or, you know, any of those other things. I only have done the gastric sleeve. So if you know anyone that's interested in that and you think that my videos would be helpful, I will leave the other ones in the bars above so you can kind of, you know, go and check out one of the other ones just just for a reference point. So anyway, I will probably, uh, I'm going to say I'm going to try to come back, but who knows? It might be three years from now. <laughs> we'll see. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but hopefully at the two year mark, I can come back just to kind of let you know where I'm at and what I'm doing, good or bad. You know, it is what it is. I have great days where I'm like, eating those carrots and then I have other days where I just need a Reese's because I'm about to fight somebody so you just never know how it's gonna go over here so yeah anyway thank you again for watching you guys have a wonderful day talk to you soon bye